Uh, property owners at a Valley Shopping Center are offering a 5,000 um, a 5,000 figure or five figure reward for information on an overnight heist. Now that happened back in July. The burglars made off with high priced alcohol and thousands of dollars in cash. Club News journalist Sean Rice spoke with a property manager about their plea to find whoever is responsible. Sean. Yeah, Mark and Kribe, this is really like something straight out of a movie. In late July, this shopping center on the corner of 63rd Avenue and McDowell became the target of a heist where unknown burglars used a saw or other kind of power tools to enter from the top of the building. They then climbed through a hole in the roof and made off with cash and several high priced boxes of alcohol. Now the property owners tell me they hope upping reward money for information that leads to an arrest will prompt someone to come forward. At El Bronco Market in West Phoenix. Everybody was shaking because we never had this kind of problem before and especially in this neighborhood. The property manager who asked us to conceal his identity says the family owned business was shocked to find this gaping hole in the ceiling of their business on the night of July 25th. He took 12 News on a tour of the back of the business where boxes of alcohol are stored. Normally when I go up there, uh, it's kind of dark. I turn on the light, but this time I went up there, it was kind of bright. I thought maybe they left the light overnight on or I forgot to, to shut it up. But then I walked up there and I saw the big hole in the roof. In a matter of minutes, they climbed in and made off with liquor and a safe full of cash. He worries this heist could be an inside job, as only a handful of people knew that a safe full of cash sat in that area of the business. Nobody knows what we got up there, but they do know we have a liquor in the liquor room. So probably they try to get the liquor and they find the safe and they took it too. Security cameras in the back of the building didn't pick up any sight of the suspects. Next door is a storage facility, and the property manager believes they could have used that business to gain entry. Describe to me how you think they got on top of the building. That seems like a crazy feat to be able to get on top. It, it is. It is kind of crazy because the building is too high. Uh, probably they use a ladder from next door neighbor from the uh, storage room. And uh, I think that's the only way because the building is way too high. With the help of Silent Witness, they're now offering 21 grand for any information on who is responsible, with the hope that these sophisticated criminals are brought to justice. It's no matter what they took, but we need to put those people behind the, uh, behind the, in jail so they won't do it again for other businesses. Now, if you have any information on this crime, those property managers could really use your help. You can submit a tip online at silentwitness.org, or you can call them on the number at the bottom of your screen. That would be 480-948-6377. Back to you guys. All right, Sean, thank you.